Hey everyone, 365 Ninja here. Today I'm going to show you how to take meeting notes using OneNote. This is one of my favorite ways to use OneNote and hopefully you'll enjoy and use the process as well. So I can actually start from OneNote and select this meeting details button right here, find my meeting and all of the details of the meeting will be inserted. You can also start from Outlook. So I'm here in my Outlook calendar, Outlook 2013, and I have this meeting. If I select the meeting, my new ribbon tab becomes highlighted and I can click meeting notes. So you notice that I already set up that one note section. Once I click this, my appointment opens up. I can select take notes on your own and go down to my section for my meeting. So I clicked OK and now OneNote has imported all of the details from Outlook. So I have all of my meeting information, I have the attachment, and I have a list of the participants. Now there's a couple things to notice here. You can expand to see the invitation message, so see the text that was in the invitation. You can also click and check to show which meeting members were in attendance. So that's another really cool feature to keep track of who attended your meeting. Now I'm going to take some meeting notes and then show you what I like to do after I'm done with my notes. Alright, so my meeting is over, I've taken my notes, and now I can simply move on, close my notebook, and just save my notes for myself, or you can go ahead and share your notes with other people. Go to your file tab, click share, you can invite other people, you can get a sharing link, you can share with the meeting, so that will go just to the people who are on that meeting invitation. Now, if your organization is like mine, we like to send our meeting minutes via email. OneDrive is great for sharing files, but when it's just something like text, we like to include it in email. So the way you'll do that is click email page, and clicking that button actually creates this email that goes right back to all of the meeting attendees. The subject is the name of the meeting, the attachment on the meeting invite will be attached. We get a link to the web view of the notebook page, and then all of the text from my notes is attached. And don't forget that you can of course use all of the features of OneNote, including tags like I used. You can link to other files, you can include images, you can include audio recordings. Everything that you do with OneNote will then be included in your meeting notes, which you can either share or send via email like I did. So there's a lot you can do with this process. I hope you enjoyed a little peek into how I use it. You can certainly customize it and make it your own, and I hope this tip helps get you going. Thanks very much, and please follow 365 Ninja for more tips and tricks on Office 365.